Alrighty, everyone, I am back from break, and as you can see, I am fully ready to take on Silent Hill. What I needed to do is really get decked out in the, 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 the tire here <laughs> to protect myself. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to head out to this hallway, and we're going to kill these creatures so that we can then thoroughly investigate this hallway. Seriously? I went to kick it and it grabbed my foot. Fucking piece of shit! Stop twitching! Kick the shit out of you! You got back up! Are we good now? Holy moly. That was a lot of enemies in the hallway, man. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to reload. Okay. We're starting to run out of ammo for the shotgun, by the way. The game is kind of lewd. I mean, all the Silent Hill games have weird, very dark, twisted, sexualized references in them. Like, literally every one, right? They all do. But it's meant to be horror. It's not anything that's supposed to be like actual sexualized it's more like you know how, how sexualization can be can be horrific I remember one of the bosses in Silent Hill too I mean I don't want to spoil but my god that's a fucking creepy boss right I think you guys know which one I'm talking about because we can save what do we got here a memo here on the chart Dr. Midkiff please use extra caution with the patient in room 312 he should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it, he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute, so please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true according to the head nurse. I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. What? Now they said 312? We've already been to room 4-3. But we couldn't... We, there was no access to room 12. It was blocked. I wonder if, if eventually we'll be able to get up there. Yeah. Right? There you go. The game is scarousing. I mean, the way I see it, there's a way that you can combine horror with sexualization that's that makes it scary. Like, normally, let's be, let's be honest, human sexual feelings are supposed to be something good. But in a horror game or a horror movie, they could be turned into something horrific, right? Right? Like, these fucking nurses coming after you trying to murder your ass. Like, oh my god. Mm, give you fucking nightmares and shit, right? So, I get it. Turn something something that should be good into something awful that scares you. I got an ampoule. Handle of dirty syringes on the bed. I'm not going to use them. Yeah, I, I don't recommend that. Okay. Exactly. Uh, Rip the Jack says also how toddlers are used. Exactly. Children, there's supposed to be something nice, something positive about humanity, a child. But what if the child is a, a hideous, undead freak coming after you, right? You hear a child singing in a horror game. It freaks you the fuck out. God, what was that? <laughs> it sounded like someone flushed a big toilet or something. All right, so let's keep checking these doors out. Everything here is broken. Okay. So we can head further down into the cafeteria, kitchen, day room, and all of that. Ken the Boss says, what about Cyberpunk using it to emphasize dark excesses of hypercapitalism? I mean, here's the thing. I, I get that, and totally when I started playing Cyberpunk, I thought at first I was shocked. I was like, wow, look how they've commercialized sexualization and turned it into something, you know, corrupted and, and messed up. And I got it, and I, I at first it made sense. Then you realize the whole game is doing it for shock value. And at that point, if you get so desensitized to it, you don't care anymore. So there's different ways to do it. I think, I think Cyberpunk did it wrong, in my opinion. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight. 
As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. What the fuck? Who wrote this? Some twisted individual? I see this and I want to ask him. So you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Hmm. Aww. Hmm. 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 Okay, let's check out these doors. Okay, this one we'll get a key for. We don't have it yet, but we should get it eventually. So we have access to the stairwell, and I don't know if it'll open or not. We'll find out, and then we could go hopefully further down unless it's locked as well. Let's check that out. Uh, can the boss, I think this, the fact you get desensitized over time is part of the message. That's what happens in real life with that sort of thing. I agree at the same time, though. It just becomes annoying. It would be like, okay, it would be like, for example, in this game, yeah, by the way, we can't go this way. See that? So we have to go back to the elevator. Let's say in this game, there was a really creepy jump scare at the beginning, and it got you. And you're like, oh, got me good, right? Made its point, scared me good. Now imagine, every five minutes, the same jump scare repeats itself. By the time that you get to the 20th, 30th time, you're like, what the fuck? Like, I'm tired of this. This isn't fun. It doesn't have a, a purpose or a meaning anymore. It's just dumb. It's, it's, it's stupid. It's annoying. And that's literally what happens in Cyberpunk, is they overdo it to the point where you just, you're like, just stop. I've had enough of this stupid shit. Just cut it out. And they don't, they beat it over the head a million times, acting like it's something interesting or, or unique. It's not. It's like, okay, maybe the first time I got it. The second time, all right. The 174th time I saw it in the game, this is stupid. I, I just don't want to do it anymore. I just, that has no meaning. It's, it's pointless. It's annoying. Now, can we go to the basement? Can we go to the second basement? Can we go to the third basement? I guess we're going to the third basement, which was not in the original hospital. We have no map, right? There's no ba third basement map. It doesn't exist in the real hospital. So we're, we're flying by our seat of our pants here. Nine. Five. Look at these carts. Six. What is this one? Zero. I guess it's supposed to be zero. I don't think I can interact with these, though. I think this might be for a puzzle. Yeah, look. Eight, four, seven, three. So this is definitely for a puzzle, but we don't know what the puzzle is yet. Jesus, what's this? What the fuck? Look. So, two, three, one, four. There's a two, a three, a one under it, and a four to the right. And a combination lock. mean it's like a it's like a grid maybe on each on each number there's another corresponding number like let's go look for t the two gurney and see what's on the two gurney is there a two gurney there's an eight a seven a four, a five, a nine, a zero, and a six. Here's the two. Can I do anything? No. I can't interact with any of these. See that? See you later, giant enemy crab. Thanks for chilling. Uh, yeah, I'm confused. I'm confused about the spatial, how it's not just straight across, but there's like... Two is the bottom left, and three is up here, then one is here, then there's a four way over there. Like, what does that mean? <clears throat> I have no idea what that means.
Am I supposed to know what it means? There's also the fact that some of these have bodies on them with tarps and others don't. Maybe it's a combat. Maybe it's just the bodies. So 8740, right? 8740 is the bodies. I don't know what that means. Eight seven four zero. It worked. What? Eight seven four zero worked. I that was complete fucking luck. I swear to God, that was luck. I got a cremated key. That was one million percent luck. I didn't look it up or nothing. I was just messing with it. And somehow that was it. I don't even understand. <laughs> I don't even know why that was the combination. I found this key in some sort of crematorium underground. It's burned black but still usable. Okay. So, was there not a door that was locked? Correct? It's not third floor. It was first floor day room was locked. Maybe the crematorium key will open up the first floor day room. I don't see any other locked doors in any of the other ones we've seen. So I'm going to guess that's probably the one. And maybe that will get us to the other half of the first floor. Okay. Alright. I guess back to the elevator, right? Am I the master of unlocking? Apparently I am. BITW also says, but you played the game before. Yeah, in 2012. It's 2023. Do you really think I remembered the combination? Are you crazy? No, all I remembered was these bodies. Do they have tarps? I'm like, well, that must have a, it must have something to do with it. But I had no clue that would be the order. I had no clue whatsoever that would have been the order. All right. So go back to the first floor. Travis T. Jarvis says, line up the Roman numeral with the number on the gurney. Huh? I don't even know what that means. I really don't understand how that... I, I don't know. I'm not even going to question. I'm just going to say I did it. Seriously, because I really don't know how I solved that. Whatever. Sometimes in life, you get, you get luck. That was my luck statistic went sky high there. Here we go. Shit. Out of you. Take it. Very good. One would be eight, two would be seven, three would be four, and four would be zero or whatever it was. How does that make sense, though? <laughs> I don't understand how that makes sense. I don't know. I gotta kill these things because they're gonna be so annoying. Running out of ammo. Yeah. Okay. Will I play Warzone again, Mishael? Uh, no, probably not. I don't really like it. They changed it. You know, Season 1 Warzone was alright. I didn't love it. But it was alright, and it was growing on me, and I was getting better at it, right? I actually had some good placements. I had a couple wins. I'm like, alright, I'll get better at it. And then they changed it completely in Season 2, and it just it turned me off the playing. They shouldn't have changed it like that. And I don't really want to go back now. I really don't think I, I want to, quite frankly. There's something on the platform that's too thin to be a person. I don't think I'll go so far as to pull off the sheets and check. 
Handgun bullets, handgun bullets, handgun bullets. Shotgun shells, some machine gun bullets. Are these birthday presents? Did you read what it said? Are these birthday presents? I don't know, and I can't... It's not doing the message again. Something on the ground. Is it a birthday card? Happy 38th birthday. 14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38. But it's not my birthday. What? Whoever wrote this was he trying to tell me something. 38th birthday, right? They said 14 plus 7 plus something equals 38. 14 plus 7 is 21. I guess 17. 14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38. Hmm. Hmm. 14 plus 7 plus 17. What could that be? I don't know, but it must be something to help with a puzzle coming up, right? You know, I don't think it's dark enough. I think they should make the game slightly darker here. <laughs> if only I could just not see anything. If only it was just completely pitch black. That would have been the ideal. Well, we got a new save room, so that's kind of cool. Must mean that we're onto something. Keep in mind, there's still that bucket we didn't figure out. At, on the third floor. We don't know what to do with that. We got a plastic bag. We don't know what that's for yet. And we got a perfume bottle. We don't know what that's for yet. So, the title is Lost Memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper sake. Drench the altar in the blood, which spouts red from the heart, to praise and to show loyalty unto God. I think we need to go get the blood from upstairs, put it in a bag, and we put it on this altar. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This is a more dignified ceremony, oh, of course, in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religious practice nearby. Religious practice nearby, excuse me. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. Of course it does. There's a stretcher, not your usual stretcher, an altar of some sort, lit candles, a knife, and is that some blood I smell? Did they worship that picture? Or something in the picture? There's a knife. If you take a look at the picture, it's an upside down guy. So I think we need to go get the, ble the bleeding guy and, get, and fill, a his, the, fill the bag with his blood. Pretty sure that's what they're, they're getting at here. Okay. So we already beat the regular hospital. This is the Silent Hill Demon Hospital. So I think we're done. I think, uh, yeah, I think we have to go back to the third floor via the elevator. Get a bag of blood and then come back here and, like, drain the blood on the altar? I think that's what they're getting at. Outside of that, I don't really see anything else I can do. So, uh, yes, Jade, great support today. Thanks for, for pointing it out. I mean, thank you all. You're a great audience today. Very interactive and lots of support, and I really appreciate that. Thank you. Felix says, imagine how much stuff you'd have to be carrying if these games were realistic. Oh, yeah, you need, like, an insanely huge wheelbarrow pushing it around with you to carry all this shit. Just think of the arsenal she has on her. A shotgun, a handgun, uh, like four melee weapons, and a freaking uh, an Uzi. And then all this ammo. It's like, what the hell? Alright, I guess we're going all the way back. They really went to town with the lighting in this game. They really wanted to make it creepy, act like you can't see anything, you know? 
All right, we're going back to the third floor. Get to that bucket. A bag of blood. I always walk around with a giant bag of blood on me, just in case. You never know when you might need it. So, we're going to go around. And, uh... It's in examining room four. We gotta go through the day room to get over there, though. Oh, we're back in my favorite room. Can I use the bag? That's the wrong items. Yes, you can. You put blood in the plastic bag. There it is. Ugh. I put the blood from the treatment room in this. I don't especially want to carry it around with me. Yeah, but well, you got to. You're being forced to. We still have the perfume bottle that we have no idea what to use it for yet. I have no clue if this has a use later on or something. All right. I guess we're heading back down to... What was it? The first level, level one? A bag of blood. Disgusting. Disgusting! Are they not afraid of bloodborne illnesses in Silent Hill? Should they not be wearing, like, safety suits and having vaccinations against stuff? Like, I'd be, I'd be pretty nervous. Everything covered in blood and big chunks of meat. Like, what is up with that? Oh, we can't go this way. We gotta go through the day room, right? Yeah, we gotta go through the day room. What is a day room? Does anyone actually know what a day room is? I don't even know what a day room is. I've never heard a room called that until I started playing video games. Like, oh, go to the day room. What the fuck's a day room? And if that's the case, what's the night room? A day room is for lounging. A den is typically the night room. Oh, I didn't know that. I really didn't had no I did not know about that at all. Interesting. So the den is your night room. Good to see you, Casanova. He says great reaction. I enjoyed it. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad you liked it. And uh, Gray Zero says if someone dies in the living room, can we still call it the living room? If more people live in the room than die, is it still a living room? Is that the criteria? Here we go. What the hell is going on down here? Happy Sunday to you, Derek. Oh, I just realized there's a ladder down. I was like, wait, what are we looking at? There's a whole ladder there now that wasn't there before. Oh, okay. Derek, uh, I wouldn't recommend you post the Ash Ketchum video again. I think people kind of got the gist of what it was about his age or whatever. Um, 
I'll be honest, it was a little long-winded. We watched about five minutes of it, and nothing really was going on. So, I, I don't think people are going to dig it again, just being honest. Uh, Gar Darth Gullbox says, It was cool seeing Mark Rober during DSP Reacts. He used to be a NASA engineer that worked on the Ma Mars rover. He always makes awesome videos. Cool. Was he the Carnival Games one? That was pretty neat. That was one of my favorite things was the Carnival Games part of the show, actually. So we're going to a new part now, right? Yeah, this is totally new. I think we might be escaping the Hell Hospital at this point. Look at this. Oh, God. A room full of disgusting sewage. Right where I want to be. What the frick? Look at those gears. Heather. Yeah? Uh. Leonard, where are you? Thank you. Now I can finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Well, I guess it's time to dispose of her. Is that him? The salvation of all mankind. God. Why must we reward even the unbelievers? What are you talking about? The about our plans, of course. It's true that God is merciful. But first, one must be chosen. Only we, who hearken to the voice of God, will be given the keys to paradise. Don't you think so, Heather? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and think whatever you want. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceive me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. I thought you were a normal person. <laughs> so you tried to trick me. So you could run off with my seal, huh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone. What is this seal thing anyway? Oh, don't play innocent. You can't fool me anymore. The seal is mine. <clears throat> I was appointed by God to be its guardian. The only thing you'll get from me is a gruesome death. Let me guess. It's going to be a boss fight, but I don't know what it's going to be. I don't remember this at all. Oh, he's a looker, though, at least. Leonard? He's handsome. Is that you? Death to all who turn their backs on God! <sighs> is every person here a mental case? Well, I guess you're not a person anyway. Sure what to do here. He's uh, dodging. Maybe some of these situations you got hit with melee. I have no clue. Keep doing this, see if it works.
fuck I'm doing. All right, Derek, I'll see you later. And yes, the threat is going up tonight, for sure. I'm about to run out of healing. I only have two things left. Well, four things left, I guess. That was exciting. What a fight. Wow. So I guess none of the bosses react to uh, ammo in this anymore. game. I guess I should head back to the motel now. Wow. I hope Douglas is okay. Douglas, who's that? Huh? What's this? The seal. The seal Leonard was talking about. <clears throat> A talisman. I think we're good now. I don't think there's going to be any more enemies. And then we can just leave. It seems to be daytime now. We only have two healing items left, so let's hope we find a lot more. Right? We're, we're kind of boned at this point. Okay. We're back in this room with this shit. Yeah. Woke up in this room. Yup, it's totally different. See this? It looks normal now. I mean, it's dark, but it's just normal now. Now I wonder. This room had a bunch of nurses in it. The lock is now broken. So the door earlier that you could go in, there was a ton of nurses and nothing in it now. Huh. Interesting. So now you're just in an, in a, an abandoned building, basically. No enemies or anything, right? Door still blocked. Can you use the elevator? No, the elevator stopped working because you beat the level. Huh, interesting. The seal of Metatron is an important relic in Silent Hill lore. Is this the seal of Metatron? As an odd design inscribed in it, I got it after I defeated Leonard. I wonder what the perfume is for. I wonder if the perfume is meant to be like a secret item for something, like a secret ending, or if it's just a... Uh Kind of an arbitrary thing you don't really use. I don't know. I don't know, but I want to save before we leave. We gotta go back to the town, back to the hotel now. I think that'll advance us to the next part of the game. 
Okay. Jersey Dolphin says, I hear nothing but good things about the new Mega Man. Yeah, but isn't it a grindy RPG-style game? I mean, aren't I, haven't I played enough grindy RPGs recently? Uh, you know. <laughs> Why did you send her to my father? Whoa. Was that wrong? It's your fault that he... But surely it's a good thing. It means he was one of God's beloved, no? Those who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. So she, Claudia and doesn't you like think Vincent. God is going to save you. Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. And I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I saw the way he hit you. Kicked you and made you cry. An abusive father. What a piece of shit. Oh, the memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes. Yes. And that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. Yeah. That's why you're all alone. You don't understand. None of you do. Felix the Mace is so Vincent is like Satan. Satan who wants to partake in the carnal pleasures of Earth. I'm, t I'm Now I'm talking from a, a Christian standpoint, being someone who grew up as a Roman Catholic. Um, yeah, very much. Maybe that's what it is. Right? Let's go this way. We never went this way yet. Let's see if we can go around a different way, around the streets. Maybe there's some hidden items over here or something, right? It's actually brighter now, too. <clears throat> it's kind of like this, heat, this sun is out, right? You see that? Even though there is fog. <clears throat> I'm just curious if you can go all the way around the street or... Oh, never mind. No items here either? No. GVPW? What the fuck does that mean? GVPW. I don't know what that means. Alright, so we can't do that. I guess we're just going to have to go back up the street. See if we can find any other uh, stuff. I get the feeling we're going to go up the road next. Maybe to the Historical Society. We know we're going to end up at that orphanage they talked about, right? That orphanage is definitely coming up. Where they were trying to brainwash the kids. That's got to be something of significance. Yeah, you can see a lot better now. Any items? See some bricks. Barrel, living on the barrel now. Nope. Nope. Anything across the street? Nope. Okay. Carl Jr. says the Mega Man games wouldn't generate a lot of viewership because they're but they're not RPGs or grindy either. Alright. The way I, I saw I really didn't think people were gonna be that interested in it. Here's Heaven's Night, that's the bar. We were there already. Look at this idiot flipping around like a moron. No one mentioned that. These guys aren't real, right? They don't exist. Just ignore them. Just ignore the enemies. Here's the Bolarama. Cool custom. I don't think you can go into the bowling alley, right? Ah, see, it's blocked off. So now we're on the main road. I just want to check out the Bolarama parking lot, see if there's anything in it. Maybe there's some items and stuff in here, right? Maybe. We didn't explore, we just kind of went right to the hospital earlier. Is that like a tin can on the floor? There might be some stuff here.
stupid dog. Two stupid dogs. Nice jump. No? Nothing, huh? Nothing! Of course I have to take a hit. Just because I felt like exploring, I have to take a hit. Yeah, there's nothing in here. What a waste of time this was. The dumb dogs. I don't want to go for a walk with you, you stupid dog. Okay. <laughs> I feel like tigers. Door is locked. I juked it. Wow, I don't know how that didn't hit me, but it didn't. Okay. Impressive. So the Bolarama is absolutely nothing of use. And they won't let me go further up the road. They refuse. I think this is for later. I'm almost positive later on we're going to go to that historical society. I guess we just go right back to the inn then, right? I guess so. Do we have nothing else to do? <laughs> Musical dogs. <laughs> Imagine if a dog could sing like that. This is the game. Can the bosses what? The game's not functional after 20 years? What are you talking about? This is the game. This is how it was intended to be played. It's not like it's glitchy. This is the gameplay of the game. <laughs> this is what everyone played back in the day. This is what games were like, dude. I hope people go, oh, look at that. Like, dude, it, this is how, exactly how games were like back then. Did you ever play games in like the late 90s, early 2000s? They were all like this. They would consider this creepy and scary. Rosewater Park. Sing with the dogs. <laughs> oh, can't go in there. So I'll go, I'll, the games are all like this. So here's the here's the hotel we need to go to for the story. What do we go all the way down? We have like ten minutes left. What do we go down the road here? Right? What do we go further? Can we go down the road? Do you think there's any items down the road? What's up, Nathan? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Carlton Thune Jr. says the fog is a staple of the series. And he says, do you think it should be the newer in the newer games, or is it a technological limitation? No, it should be in the newer games, but it should definitely be better done than this. You know what I'm saying? El Grey Zero says, I prefer slower paced games, survival horror games. It makes you feel less defensive. So they won't let me go that way either. They only let me go down this road here. This road here. We can check this road out. Nope, look at this. We're not going there. So I guess we're going back to the hotel. There ain't nowhere else to go. There's nowhere else to go. Go through the hotel, yo. Office? Office doesn't open. I said there's nowhere else to go. R room 106, right? Where's Douglas? He went out. But he left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? Hmm? No, no. Hello, Omar. Just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah. What did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. I wonder what he meant by that. You don't understand? That's where Claudia is. Across the lake, on the north side. If you're going, you'd better go through the amusement park. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Probably the only way in now. 
Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far, but it's closer than heaven. <laughs> Is that it for the message? Uh-huh. Thanks. I just used blood all over her white vest. Douglas really said that? What's wrong? You don't trust me? <laughs> when did this game come out? I think some people had said uh, 2003 was the original release date. And then this is the HD collection that came out in 2012. So when this first, when this collection came out, the game was nine years old. Of course, we're playing this another 11 years later. So it's the 20th anniversary of this game, right? Pretty crazy to think. 20 years. Silent Hue. So there we go. Now we're going down that road. All we're going to do is we're going to get to a save point, and that's going to basically be it for today's stream. Because we don't have time for an amusement park. We did the whole hospital in one sitting. And that was the, the, the real hospital and the, the demon side hospital. So. 20 years. 20 years ago. Silent Hill 3. I didn't play any of these games back then. I, I wasn't a survival horror guy. I only played Resident Evil 1 and 2. Um, and then I stopped playing console games during that mid to late PS1, early PS2 era. Because I was just playing fighting games. <clears throat> so I did own consoles. Like, I owned PS2. And I played Street Fighter 3 Third Strike on there. I played Capcom vs. SNK 2 on there. Super Turbo on there. Um, I had a Dreamcast to play Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And that's all I was playing at home. I was literally not playing uh, any other games besides fighting games. <clears throat> AJ Normal says, would you ever consider replaying the original Deadly Premonition as a, as a stream? Yeah, I would. It's now been a long time since I played it. I wish that there was a better version for I don't understand there isn't. They never really made a better version, so it's a really shitty version on PS3. I guess I'd have to play on PS5, right? Well, we made it. Hopefully there's a save point. <laughs> Stomach cramps, what happens? Too much cheese and beans. Either that or she's lactose intolerant completely and she ate like, uh, you know, some of those mozzarella sticks or like a polio string cheese. She wolfed a couple down. Now she's in trouble. Int oh, intestinal hell. distress is what they call it. Yes, Deadly Premonition 1 had the infamous fishing segment. That is correct. So this is exactly the same as the beginning of the game. If you remember, we did this in the very beginning. We got chased by a bunch of enemies. Couldn't really do much. And uh, then the intro ended. It pretty much looks identical to the beginning, though. Yeah, it is identical to the beginning. So do we just turbo through it, go to the same thing? Probably, probably do the same thing as the original beginning. Now, how do we do that? Through here? Yes. I was gonna say, what about the door with the light on it? Ah, look at this place. Hopefully this is a save room area. I don't know. Some toys. Toy store. Lots of toys. They're all the bunny with the bloody face. A row of shirts. I don't need anything here. Anything here that I can use? Any items? Or is it really just a creepy dark toy store? What the fuck was that noise? You heard that? A rabbit stuffed animal. Ah! Indeed, it is the save room. Perfect place to save. I've been asked, when am I playing this again? Well, for the next two days, we're doing Elden Ring. And then my day off is Wednesday, so we will resume on Thursday. Keep in mind, this game is regularly in the rotation, alternated with Elden Ring next week. So every other day, basically next week, we'll have more Silent Hill 3. 
Uh, I am not committing to playing that Dead Island 2 game on Friday. In fact, I'm, I have a wait-and-see attitude about it. So, this it's this and Elden Ring back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, moving forward. And then, you know, when we wrap it up, because like, definitely we're going to wrap this up before Elden Ring, um, that's when we're going to look to do uh, another game and we'll figure it out. But I'm, I'm in no rush. You know, right now we're, what, nine hours in? I, I want to say the original game is 12 to 15 hours long. I, I want to say it's more around 15. So probably another two streams at least because i know we have the amusement park i don't remember the other areas i know that there's probably another area from elden ring or elden ring from uh, silent hill one if i remember correctly i think you go to the orphanage right they were mentioning the orphanage where the kids are where they were brainwashing the kids into the cult i think that's part of this so i'm thinking uh you know know there are at least two streams of this to wrap it up and i want to say thank you you guys have been a great audience a fun interactive audience today with great engagement great support you know really appreciate that and uh, we resume later in the week. All right, everyone. Thank you. Again, if you are watching this playthrough on demand on YouTube, remember to like the videos, leave some comments, and let me know what you think of the playthrough. And uh, we'll continue on later. Thanks a lot.